Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's create the ultimate image resizing and exporting shortcut for your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 700 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a while back I showed you how to create a really simple shortcut on your iPhone to resize a photo. This lets you easily create a smaller version of an image to upload to websites, share on social media, or send to friends. But that shortcut was really basic. It just exported everything at just one width. What if we improved on that and created a shortcut that not only asked you for the width but allowed you to provide a percentage or a specific fixed width also allows you to choose the type of file format and the compression amount for JPEGs. Turns out it's pretty easy to do this. So let's go into the Shortcuts app here and I'm going to create a new shortcut. I'm going to go to the three dots there at the top right and give it a name. So I'll call it Ultimate Resize. We'll make sure it's shown in the Share Sheet for Just Images. So deselect all and go to Just Images. So anytime you go to share an image we'll be able to use this. We'll tap on the icon here and choose a color and a glyph. Hit Done and then Done. Now we're ready to do the scripting here. You can see because we said we only wanted this to appear when it's involving an image it says it accepts images. So we're all set there. Now the first thing we're going to add is we're going to ask a question. What size do we want the image to be exported as? So we'll do a search here at the top for Ask and select Ask for Input. And then we want to be very specific in the question here. So the question is what's the new width and we want to be able to say you can provide a specific value or a percent less than 50%. Why less than 50%? Well it turns out there's a bug here in Shortcuts and if you try to resize an image to 50% or greater it doesn't seem to work. So you need to be like resizing to less than half. So like 40% size, 25% size. Most of the time that's what we want anyway. We don't want to just shrink the file a little bit. We want to shrink it a decent amount for resizing it. Now under Show More we could say we want input type number. But we don't want to do that because we want to allow the percent symbol there. So you can enter values in like 40% or you can enter numbers in like 640. Let's set a default answer here with a percent. So 25 percent or you can include whatever value you think you're going to be using all the time. I like doing it as a percentage there. That way the percent symbol is already there. I can just change 25 to 10 or 15. And if I want to actually have a specific number like 600 I can just delete the percent very easily. So now we want to add another action here and we're going to go into Scripting and here we're going to use If and we're going to check to see whether or not the input contained that percent symbol. So you can see since it occurs right after we asked for something it already has filled in there if the provided input and then we give a condition. So the condition is going to be contains and the value here is going to be the percent symbol. And then you can see there's otherwise and, and if. Now if it contains a percent symbol we want to calculate the actual width. So to do that first let's get the width of the image that we selected. So we'll go in here and we'll go back up and we'll go to Media. And in Media we'll go to Get Details of Images and we'll say Get What Detail. Well we want the width. From what? Well we'll select that and we'll say Magic Variable and we'll go all the way to the top here and select Shortcut Input. So Get the Width from Shortcut Input. Let's move that after the if statement there before otherwise. Now we want to add a calculation based on that. So we'll go back up to Scripting and we'll choose Calculate. We'll move that under here and we'll say Calculate the Width and instead of Plus we'll do Times and then for the number we'll go back to Provided Input which will refer back to what was entered in in the Ask. Now if we enter a number like 25 we don't want to multiply it by 25. We want to multiply it by .25. So we want to do a further calculation so we're actually using percentages here. So I'll add Calculate again. Move that here and say do the calculation result. And we can actually just divide that by 100 to get the percentage. 
So that's where we are so far. Now we want to store that in a variable. So I'm going to go into Scripting and then go down to the bottom where there's variables and say Set Variable and I'll give it a name of New Width. I'll move that here so it will take the calculation of result that the last part there divided by 100 and store it in New Width. Now if you enter it in a specific number, not a percentage, we want to also store that in New Width. So let's use that same set variable. We'll put this under Otherwise. This is if a percentage wasn't entered in. And we'll set the same exact variable to whatever the original provided input was. So in other words, if you enter in 25% it's going to do a calculation. Take the width, multiply it by 25, divide by 100, and you get the new width, 25% of the original. Otherwise, if you didn't enter a percent symbol in, it's just going to take that number, whatever it was, 640, 1000, 200, and just put that into the new width variable. So now let's do the resize. So I'm going to add something here. I'm going to go back up to Media and under here, under Image Editing, there's a Resize Image. So we can resize and what do we want to resize? Well, we'll tap that there and we'll clear it and we'll go back and say Magic Variable, go all the way to the top and select Shortcut Input. So resize the shortcut input to what? 640 by Auto Height? No. We don't want 640 so we'll delete that and instead we'll tap on Variables and select that New Width variable that we created times Auto Height. Yep, that's what we want. We want the New Width times whatever the height would automatically be calculated using that new width. So now we've resized it. So the next thing we want to do is convert this. So here in Media we have Convert Image. Now automatically it's going to say convert the resized image, so what was from the previous action, to a JPEG. And then it's going to have Show More here. Now we want to provide lots of options. So I'm going to tap on JPEG. You can see I could make it a PNG or GIF or whatever I want. But I could also select Ask Each Time. That means it will come up as a prompt, something you could change when you export. In addition to that, that will also then ask for other things like the quality type if say it's a JPEG that's selected. Now what do we want to do after this? We could do something like save this as a file, share it to a certain app or whatever. But what I want to do is actually go and search for Share and there is the Share action. This sends it back to sharing. So you're going to share this. You're going to specify what the new size is, what the format is and quality, and then it will go back to sharing. And now you get to pick an option. So you could do almost anything you want with it. So that's the completed script. Let's hit Done here. And here I am in Photos. Let's share this. So I'm going to hit the Share button at the bottom left. I'm going to go down here and look for my Ultimate Resize. Select that. Now I get to choose a new width. Let's keep it at 25% so it will do that calculation. It's also going to prompt me for all the information here in the conversion. So I can actually tap on JPEG there and choose what I want to use. I'll stick with JPEG. I could also choose the quality and I could choose whether or not to preserve the metadata. In other words, things like the GPS location, what type of camera it was taken on, that kind of thing. Whether that's included in the new version. Then I hit Done. Now when I do that it returns me to the Share Sheet because the last thing was to share it. So now I can pick something else. So I can do almost anything here. I could send it into another shortcut if I want. But more likely I'm going to do something like Save Image. That will save it back to my photo library. Save to Files. That will save it out to a file in iCloud Drive or any other file system you have like Dropbox or a local file. You can use any of the other things. Printing, sending it to other apps. Anything that was available originally you can now send this modified version of the image to. So we could just save it to Files and I'll save it to my iCloud Drive there and I'll have that image now as a file. So I'll have the complete script for this posted as an image at MacMost.com. I prefer to post shortcuts like that so you can actually build it yourself instead of importing it in. That way you learn the skills to modify it or create your own. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.